Welcome back to the channel, the Everyday Non-Expert here, and today I wanted to show you my comic haul from this week, Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. If you like seeing videos like this, uh, subscribe to the channel to see more of them. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. Stay tuned because I will be doing uh, the winner of last week's giveaway and the giveaway for this week. And uh, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Give this video a like. I guess, uh, yeah, you know what? Without further ado, let's just get into the haul. Alright, so first off we have... last hopefully you can see it on the camera anyway all right so we have i picked up by a from a blaze comics animal castle number two uh, i haven't read number one yet i actually didn't get a number one um i so i do have a couple second prints in here though but this one I'm pretty excited about. I FOC'd this, and if you watched my FOC, uh, you would have known that this is one worth specking on. And I went ahead and got three of them, and they're now being sold between 15 to 20. Uh, today is Thursday night. If I posted them yesterday, I, you could get over like 20 bucks for them. Uh, so um, after that, I have. Nightwing 88, it is the new costume for Nightwing, and I actually have a Nightwing 78 that I think I'm going to try to sell with it, um, see if I can get sell those two together. And then here is my um, Animal Castle number one second print. I got one for me, and I actually got an extra one. This is going to be the giveaway book for this week. So if you are interested, uh, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, the rules will be in the description of the video. You got to be in the U.S. I don't want to have to ship internationally. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the YouTube stuff. And just let me know what uh, your favorite either book that I got, book that you wanted. You didn't necessarily have to bought a book. Um, I'm pretty big on not making you guys have to necessarily buy anything. Uh, to uh, join that um, giveaway also if you did want to support the channel you know so I can stop using my cell phone and you know iMovie and basic mic get some better and then get some lighting and stuff and who knows what else um, put more money into this I do have my PayPal down in the description and my Venmo and anything that I get from that, I will be putting directly back into increasing the production on the channel. And then um, may take a couple, some of it, um, get a couple of the books that I normally wouldn't get that seem to be hot that people are really interested in so that I can review them for you. Uh, something like that. So, and if you want to put a specific thing on there for equipment, for books, whatever, um, I'll go ahead and honor whatever you decide to do. So, anyways, uh, beyond that, we have the Hulk number three. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this one. I love this variant. I didn't bring home today the other one that uh, there was a uh, I think it was a bag Bagley variant that had the um, the old school Wolverine costume of him in the woods um, I think it, it's actually kind of an homage to I think the page in Hulk 180 that says here comes the Wolverine um, it's, it just reminds me of that so anyway uh, all right. uh, second to last one is Venom number four so and that's cover A and I know there's a lot of uh, controversy around um if this is a first appearance or not and honestly in from what I've heard on whether something is uh, just a cameo or a first appearance is and I think uh, Hulk 180 and 181 
can sort of help with this and it's that a cameo can even be a full page or more and have the, the, the character, the names, things like that and that a first appearance is where they actually interact with characters and affect the story. What do you guys think? Um, that is just what I've heard and what I've seen and what I've noticed kind of is the pattern. I'm not saying that that's my opinion. Um, to be honest, I think it's cooler to have the first time you see them at all, even if it's a shadow or, or anything like that. Um, I, so I guess cameos to me are, are cooler but we all know with the Hulk 181, that whole thing is because that cover is just, that has Wolverine on the cover fighting the Hulk. So there's another thing that some people care about, first cover appearances more. Uh, remember the whole debacle with uh, Punchline and Batman 92? Um, I think Art Germ's cover was going to be 93, but they bumped it up to be the cover B. It was, or it's going to be the... I think 1 in 25 for number 93 and then they bumped it to be the cover B for 92 so that kind of killed or maybe even 91 or something but it killed a bunch of the spec for 92 and I remember that specifically because that was good that was the first uh, cover appearance of punchline and I invested in that pretty heavily after we saw what happened to 89 and uh, nothing came of it so uh, I guess it's all just personal preference for people. So, all right. Well, my last book. Um, to me, this is a, a... I haven't read the story, but from what I've heard, it's probably just a cameo. But I still think it's great. And I got the John Boy Myers. Um, I actually was gone uh, when my shop texted me. Um, I was at Disneyland. And... Um, they texted me and asked me if I wanted this because I said I, I was interested in it. But at that time, when I FOC'd it, I don't think they had the cover art for it. And they sent it to me, I was like, eh. But then when I heard that it could be like, uh, like spec worthy, I figured 30 bucks for a one for 25. Worst case, I'd probably lose like 10 bucks on it, if that. Um, and then best case, this will be the one to have and it could shoot up. Uh, so the the risk to reward value was great enough where luckily they just put it in i was so busy i didn't even respond and then the next day i was like well they probably if they sold it they sold it i'm not even gonna bother but it was in my box so that was pretty cool um anyway so that's my haul check it i'm gonna fan it out for you so you can kind of see a little bit of everything on my haul and yeah, um, so that's my haul for Wednesday, January 19th, uh, 2021. And you know what? Uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to have, uh, I want this video to come out. I'm going to do a separate video. I think during my FOC, I will do the, um, the giveaway from last week because my back has been killing me i went to the chiropractor today and even at disneyland i just couldn't go on all the rides um as much time as i wanted to because my back just hurt so bad and the drive and everything like it was just not a, honestly a fun experience but the kids loved it so that's what the most important thing is all right um i got i got i can't sit anymore for right now um so I will, uh, I'm probably going to go lay down. Maybe I'll come back and do, and do it. But, um, otherwise if I don't do it and I get this out, try to get this out by, um, cause I'm going to get it out tomorrow on Friday because by then no one cares about halls anymore after Friday. They're all in the FOC in the next week. So, uh, if I don't attach the, um, the winner of last week's giveaway to this video, then I will do it for the FOC video. Um, and I apologize, but I, yeah, I just, I can't sit anymore. So yeah, uh, again, thanks for stopping by. 
like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, you can still enter to win that Animal Castle. And then, um, like, I'll have some videos here for you to check out. If you want to check out some more videos. Other than that, um, sorry I haven't posted in a while, but, you know, between having gotten COVID almost three weeks ago, and then I went to Disneyland, like, two days ago, um, I haven't really had much time to do. I know I normally do the FOCs and upcoming and stuff like that. So, anyways, I'm just going to stop rambling. I had to go uh, stop sitting. It's killing my back. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a great one. Bye.